This conference will now be recorded. So, guys, here in this session, we are going to learn how to install SAP. Uh, most of you, as a freshers, as a beginner, uh, like uh, you are not having, you don't have any server access, SAP server access. You don't know like uh, how to install this SAP server in your laptop, or else like where to get this server access. These all things, multiple questions will be there. Some of you, of course, will be having like you are already having server access. You have already taken this SAP server access from somewhere. In that case, you can ignore this video and you can proceed further. Uh, to the next tutorial in this next video onwards you can proceed further but the people who doesn't have SAP server access and all then how you practice so for that you must be having this SAP in your laptop so how to uh, do this installations and all very simple process is there guys now here in this video I'll explain before that I'll explain one more thing guys this is online server and this online server is like somewhere at a particular location we are going to maintain this server so the maintenance cost of course is going to incurred and incurred and, and that this maintenance charges need to be paid to the candidates it's a very nominal charges i'll just specify here the charges and then we'll proceed further and i'll show you how to install this sap in your laptop or desktop so look at here guys these are the charges like uh, if, if you're from india then uh, 500 INR per month and 1000 INR for three months and uh, like if you're out of India like Australia UK US any other countries and all in that case it is ten dollar ten dollar per month or is for one month and uh, twenty dollar for three months now look at here guys uh, in India like payment mode will be like Google pay phone pay Paytm these are the wallet which is very much prevalent here in India so you can use this one or else like bank transfer will be there i have specified my email id here you need you if you want to know the google pay number phone pay number paytm number and all you can drop a mail here and instantly you'll be getting response also for other countries like other than india then uh, two methods are there either you can go for bank transfer or else i'm using paypal also so you can request for the link i'll just share you here once again i'll repeat I have given my email ID, so you just request for the link of this people. I'll share you the details. You don't need to cl click on the link, and then immediately you can make the payment. Okay. So once you made the payment, then what will happen, guys? After that, you are going to receive an email from our side, from my side, and look at here. This kind of email you are going to receive: SAP login credentials. Login credentials means it is having certain details. I'll just open this email. So look at here guys, even the installation uh, details are this this email consists of the installations details, installations details. How to install this SAP and after installations, what should be your login ID and password? These all things I have specified here. So the first step, what you have to do guys, the first thing you have to do is you need to click on the link. You need to click on the link. Look at here, the link is going to be open. So Look at here now click on the download one more you know screen got open now click on download anyway look at here the file size it is almost more than 1 GB and here I'll just upload it sorry download it on desktop itself so I'll just create a new folder and here I'll write SAP server okay and double click here and then save it so now it is going to be <clears throat> that is going to be so look at here now it started okay so it is like uh, still it is like uh, 200 MB itself so it will take some time meanwhile I'll just do one thing guys I'll take you back on the PPT once again and there will be few more questions in your mind most of you like what is the system requirement what should be the ram size of my laptop what should be the hard disk size of my laptop so until unless this file is getting downloaded i'll explain these things so here look at here guys now system requirement with any operating what what os is supposed to be so as per my knowledge i know like other os is also going to support this sap and all but my experience is particular for this window 
so that's what i have written here that window preferred and i think 98% of the people are using this window itself so now here and this video is also getting recorded for this window what to say os itself so here <coughs> window is preferred if you're having like uh, let's suppose laptop or desktop which is having window operating system and all then better to use that one now what is the ram size so ram size i'll tell you guys this is online server so for online server even the small ram size also let's suppose 1 gb because if, if say for example your your laptop is quite old some 8 years old 10 years old so of course in those days the like like ram size of laptop used to be 1 gb 2 gb only so even the smaller ram size also is going to work out no worries okay so even minimum one one gb nowadays like if you talk about any laptop which is having minimum 4 gb of ram and minimum 500 gb of hard disk will be there that is the minimum size to any laptop so any ram it's going to work perfectly guys there is no issues hard disk as i told you hard disk also whether you are having the smaller hard disk size also it is going to work out because how much space it is going to consume from your your hard disk guys it's it's between one to two gb only nothing else apart from this if you talk about the storage of all the data while practicing uh, if you're going to do this sab practice and all multiple uh, configurations you have to do and once you store in the sense once you save those things and all where it is going to be saved so it is not going to be stored in your hard disk as i said like a server is going to be maintained at a different locations so the storage location is a different what to say in different server it is going to be stored so it has nothing to do with your hard disk space and all okay so now here any hard disk is going to whether you're having 100 gb hard disk to 200 gb 300 gb 500 gb as i told you minimum 500 gb hard disk will be anywhere anybody nowadays in every laptop it is happening so even smaller hard disk also size is there no worries it is going to work out very fine very smoothly it is going to run internet connectivity also like even the weaker like let's suppose earlier 2g was there nowadays nowhere 2g is there guys everywhere minimum 3g and 4g is there right 4g is there in the market right now but even it is going to run in 2c network also if this network speed is quite slow in that also it is going to run there is no worry for this internet connectivity in the sense like speed issues will not be there okay so <laughs> these are the things guys which uh, you know which is required like you need to have internet connectivity why because it is online server it's not offline server right so you need to have internet connectivity uh, even like most of you will be having like in your if you're having some mobile number and all in that itself you are getting uh, data daily basis 1 gb or something from your mobile operator that is more than enough why because this sap is going to consume very less data very less data it is let's suppose if you're having 1 gb data in your mobile hardly it is going to consume 50 mb or 100 mb it means like 10 percent of your entire data is going to be con consumed okay so these are the system requirement guys now we'll just do one thing i'll check it here now look at here the file is also almost this uh, is completed in the sense download is completed i'm going to open it so just open it now you can uh, see here how much time it has taken hardly two three minutes it has taken to download it depends upon your internet speed guys sometime for some of the people it may take more time also so if it is taking more time nothing to be worry about okay don't worry about these things and all you can uh, what to say just wait until unless the complete download is going to be that's this download is completed so now what is happening simply i have opened this file once you open look at here inside of sap server this file got downloaded here bd underscore and w 7.0 double click on this file then here double click on press one then you need to double click on gui double click on windows double click on win 32 and here you need to come down look at here setup all you need to check this setup all so here right click and click on open button first so if you are going to click on open button then what is happening guys here you will be finding extract all so you just click on extract all guys and then it is asking like okay whatever the extracted file look at here selected uh, what is the destination of extract file so what to be the destination of extract file guys 
so i'm going to choose the same folder i'm going to choose the same folder which folder guys click on browse here and then you go to desktop and here we are having sap server here itself i'm going to create one more folder and here i'll keep extract file ext file okay so under sap server i'm going to save this extracted file under which server guys so i have selected ext file here it is going to be saved so select folder and then you need to click on extract so once you click on extract guys look at here now it is started and it will take some time this is because heavy file is there guys in the extraction it might take 15 minutes also 20 minutes also 10 minutes also 5 minutes also depends upon as i told you your internet speed look at here still it is showing zero percent itself right after some time like it is like here green color things will be started so from zero to one one to two three four five like that it is going to be so initially look at here now this green color this this is appearing right so now it is it become one percent two percent three percent four percent so what i'll do guys now i'll pause this video i'll pause this video and once this extraction is completed then i'll again uh, we'll start the recording and all like uh, right now three percent only so it is going to take some time guys so meanwhile i'll just pause the recording this conference will now be recorded okay guys so here uh, the file extraction got completed now we'll just do one thing come on the desktop and look at here double this is what the folder where we have uh, what is it downloaded this file double click on this folder so this folder got open here right now we'll do one thing okay so here this is the first which we have uh, this is the zip file which we have uh, downloaded first and then it is we have extracted the file from here and this file second file got uh, you know downloaded here in ext file so double click on ext now again the similar uh, what do you say process you have to follow so you double click on bd then double click on press one and then double click on gui then windows win32 and then look at here set up all right so what you need to do guys set up all you can open it click on open so one small what to say this one uh, pop-up window will open okay and i don't i i think i don't know whether it is going to be appear here on the screen or not even it is not appearing also but guys once you open this anyway you will come to know so you'll be having like do you want to allow this app to make changes to your de device uh, it might uh, i don't know whether it is appearing here in this uh, recording or not so even if it is not appearing also that's what i'm reading out so that easily you guys will come to know that small pop-up box will appear so do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device proxy ap application is there yes and no option is there you need to click on yes you need to click on yes and once you click on yes look at here now the installation started so it may take some time just click on next then here click on select all select all and then click on next again click on next click on next keep on clicking next now so installation is going to be begin so look at here now it started right it is showing zero percent so again it will take some time this is also going to take some time so we'll have to wait because zero percent one percent two percent like that it is going to be so i'll just do one thing once again i'll pause my video i'll pause this recording for some time because it is one percent three percent look at here still it is taking time so let me pause the recording this conference will now be recorded okay guys so look at here 98 percent 99 percent right now it is completed so you just need to click on close okay so it has taken around uh, 
it, it may depends upon again it's going to be depends upon your internet speed for me almost five minutes it has taken for somebody might be 10 minutes 15 minutes also it may take but this is what the time it is going to consume again you just come on the desktop here and so look at here this is called your sap login pad which i have shown you guys right remaining other things you have nothing to do with like uh, uh, other things and all you just keep this file somewhere so here this is what the important one right here you need to log in okay uh now this file if you want to keep for the backup purposes you can and this is also there is no use of this one you can keep here itself in this folder itself now so you can keep this file as a backup somewhere this for this folder as somewhere so that if due to some reason if, if this login pad got uninstalled then once again what you can do guys you can follow the same process already we have downloaded this right you need to double click on this extraction and here once again the same procedure whichever, whichever we have done you are going to follow and you will be able to install it so now this sap login pad this is what the important one you just need to double click on that you need to double click on that open it okay so small configurations need to be done guys that i'll show you so look at here it is getting open okay what configurations you need to done you need so look at here now once you are going to here it is already like it is appearing here right so what you need to do i'll just do one thing i'll delete it okay because for me like i have already done this installations that is what is appearing so for you guys it will be appear it is it is going to appear like this for you all it is going to appear like this what you need to do you need to click on look at here this new button this is called new or you can say create button this blank page with the right upper right corner is folded one right so you have to click on this one and then you need to click on next so once you click on next so what we have to give you have to give some descriptions application server number instance number system id so what should be this what about this details and all guys so as i told you that you guys are going to receive an email from my side which consists of all of your details including your user id and password also so descriptions you can give any descriptions can be given guys i have given sap free code doesn't mean that you are going to give same any descriptions can be give can be given so i have just kept sap free code application server number guys this server number descriptions you are free to give any descriptions even you can give your name also it's okay but server number there should not be any mistake in server number if you are going to give a different number it is not going to work out for every people different different application server number will be there so what number you guys are going to give whatever number i have specified here that number you are going to give okay in your email id whichever number i have specified here that number you have to give right now this is this is the number i have given here so this number and beware be careful while copying this because even if you are going to make copy of like one extra space also look at here this is incorrect copy okay extra space got copied right so what you have to do now look at here this is what the correct copy so either you can copy or you can type manually like 183.82.97.76 so i am going to copy itself and then i'm going to give you what next guys instance number so what is the instance number i've given 39 so just do one thing here 39 what about system id i've given eh7 eh7 i've given look at here system id i've given eh7 so i'm going to give this eh7 that's it after that what next guys click on next button and then once again then what no next guys you need to click on finish button so look at here now you got here so here server is ready double click on sap fico here so once you double click then what will happen guys our next screen is going to appear here you need to give your user id and password here you need to give your user id and password so whatever user id here just for the time being to record this video I have created user id test user id you guys for you guys it is not going to work out why because after this 
session this test user id this is a temporary id which i have created this is going to be deleted so you guys should not try with this one you guys whatever email you are going to receive from my side in that your user id and password will be there you have to try with that user id and that password so i'm going to use test user id here for the time being so let me give your user id that is test user id and password what is the password i have given so very simple password i have given guys one two three four five six and for everybody almost same password i am going to give but it doesn't mean that you are going to use the passwords and user id of others because i have given like one two three four five six so i'll tell you guys this is one time password once you press enter look at here now system is saying that you need to change your password so this is one time password i have given once you press enter then system is saying that now you tell me what passwords you want to keep like what is your desired password so whatever password you want to keep you can keep i'll tell you guys better to keep a easy password so that you will be able to remember because if you are going to give a tough password then what will happen might be after some time if you've forgotten and three times if you are going to give a wrong password then what will happen your screen is going to be locked and in that case your password need to be set up once again you have to drop an email that my password got locked and then it is going to take some time for this uh, to reset your password and all so i'll tell you better to keep easiest password so that easily you guys will be able to remember and you can specify your password somewhere so i'm going to give a different password it could be anything guys numeric alphanumeric alphabetic whichever you want you can keep here so i've given a different password now look at here choose okay choose a password that is different from your last five it means i'll have to do one thing and then it is going to work out okay because this password whatever i have given that is already uh, even like earlier also i've used this so you cannot use your last let's suppose uh, you have given a password later on if you want to change to a different password so then what will happen whatever previous part was password you have given that cannot be used you have to use a different password again okay so last five password will be here in it will be stored in sap so you cannot use that one so this is what so always guys now here so now you are able to log in now you are able to log into sap so the steps are quite simple guys once you made payment you just need to uh what is it can come through email itself that you have made a payment and uh, you can send the screenshot of the payment whatever you made so that it, it consists of the reference number immediately it is going to be matched here and then within some time what will happen guys within some time you are going to get an email like this in that email your descriptions application server everything will be there including your user id and password okay so whatever user id i have given that is going to have a validity of three months only if you are going to take for one month then it will be having validity of one month if you are going to take it for three months then it is going to have a validity of three months after one month or after three months if you want to continue then what will happen guys let's suppose so that user id validity once it is got expired then immediately like let's suppose once three months is completed or one month is completed and after that if you are going to log in then system will throw error that your user id is not in validity date so if it is showing like your user id is not in validity date it means you have to assume that your validity got expired in that case you have to go for renewal and again it is going to cost you the same charges guys whatever charges i have specified on this ppt so if you want to go for further renewal you can make payment once again the same user id you can continue the only validity period is going to be uh, what to say uh, increased over there the validity period is going to be increased further it is going to be extended let's suppose you, you gone for three months so again for three months it is going to be extended and your entire setting entire configurations whichever you have done in this sap it will be as it is there won't be any changes in those settings guys don't worry like some people will be having like a kind of confusion that what will happen if my user id is going to be expired so even if your user id is going to be expired also uh, still uh, this user id will be there in our system for some time we are going to keep in the uh, you know your entire data will be there in the server itself as a backup so later if you want to go for renewal then your entire data will be as it is and simply the user id validity is going to be extended and again you can do 
again you can proceed further with your entire practice and all so that's all guys that's all in uh, this video once again i'll say here the uh, installation part is quite easy follow the steps exactly the way i have explained